KFC. I was gonna put it. Wait, you have no pants on. The most venomous snake known to man. Well, guys, Luke has had enough. I don't think we're supposed to be here because, like, they don't want you to cross, but you know, whatever. That was a bust. Luke doesn't have to look at uh, Google for restaurant info. I have to say, like, 80% of the guys here are just ripped. They're shredded. We are hated here. Luke, we forgot our skis. Uh, how right, we quit spoiling it. Okay. Guys, it's our uh, first entry into the Glacier National Park uh, vlog on the JY Prime channel. Oh my god! So, yeah, we're on our flight to um, where are we going? So, we're flying into Minneapolis first, and then we're gonna be um, flying over to. We're flying over to Spokane. And from Spokane, we're going to be driving over to uh, Glacier National Park. So, yeah, it should be a uh, good time. But, uh, the TSA threw away uh, threw away my toothpaste, my sunscreen, so it's gonna get rough. Hopefully, all of our reservations go through as expected. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll check in with you guys. In a bit. We are now in Minneapolis Airport. Um, we had a nice, somewhat smooth flight. It's a little bit turbulent. We didn't get any uh, in flight service because, yeah, the pilot told all the flight attendants they couldn't get out of their seats. So that was a bit of a bummer. We're waiting at our gate, but our flight doesn't leave for like two hours or something um, for Spokane, so just chilling. Hopefully we get in-flight service this time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I'll uh, check in with you guys again when uh, we're in Spokane. So what's up guys, we made it to uh, Spokane. Flight was, uh, was pretty nice. Better than the first one. We got. Wait, no. We didn't even get service on the second one, did we? Oh yeah, we did. We got drinks. Yeah. Okay, you we got, got drinks. Pretzels. We got pretzels. Never mind. The second one was way better. We uh, met met up with a friend, Hello. Mr. Christopher. Tell me his name again. Christopher Robin. We had some good Thai food at a local joint. It was actually it was fire. Why are you the way that you are? We're gonna take Chris back home and then we're gonna head to hit the road over to uh, Montana. So I might do like a little, I don't know, I might figure out how I can set up my camera on the on the dash or something so we can get some footage of that. But yeah, that's pretty much just get to our hotel and that's what we're doing for the day, so. Alrighty, see you guys. the camera around real quick well we made it to cali spell montana you can probably tell i'm like dead tired i didn't i got like two hours of sleep this morning because our flight is like 4 a.m um and then i didn't sleep really at all i slept a little bit on the flights but not that much and then i drove like two hours um luke's been driving the past two and a half hours and we uh yeah we finally Sorry. made it we're just heading to our hotel now so Sorry. fingers crossed it's decent and not trash have any thoughts luke kfc i'm just riding on my bike and oh. yes. we are hated here we 
because oh yeah so we we stopped like a little while ago back at some like random uh gas station out in the middle of nowhere and this dude uh told us to leave pull up and ran rolled down his window and he said we're pretty sure it's because we got washington plates on our rental car and apparently Mon montanians or whatever don't really like uh people from liberal states <laughs> so um hopefully we won't get vandalized or something let's go brandon hey. let's go brandon hey. let's go i think we'll be okay because i think this is a whole this is a tourist area so we might get a good view up here it looks like i don't know what this is of nice i'll check in with you guys in a second what kind of a view what kind of a view oh, it's, it's a mountains out there and you can't see them because it's all foggy <laughs> so that was a bit anticlimactic all right anyway um yeah i'm just gonna go to the hotel take a shower and go to bed luke's gonna go to walmart and get all of our crap that we need for hiking and stuff um here's our hotel we'll let you guys know how it goes it's packed even though it's a three-star <laughs> hotel <laughs> so we'll see how this goes all right wish us luck guys We are on the Forest and Fire Trail here at Glacier National Park. Uh, I got some footage of us kayaking out on Lake McDonald um, on my phone because I forgot to bring <laughs> bring my camera out there. But I think the phone got some good shots, um, hopefully. Uh, so that was really fun. We spent like two hours out there on the lake just chilling it was actually like pretty there were other people kayaking but like we went really far out in the middle of the lake and uh it was it was nice also which way do we go uh this way it loops back i don't know if there's any like super scenic thing like lookout or anything but it looks like it was gonna be um pretty you know pretty good easy introductory hikes so we can get used to the altitude and stuff quick update on that this uh, trail is not maintained <laughs> you can tell it's kind of just brush i wore pants luke didn't so we're gonna have to check to make sure he doesn't have ticks so hopefully we make it through after we got done hiking, um, we kind of just hung out around the, um, like the lake area. Went and got some dinner, um, well, lunch actually, I guess, technically. Uh, it was really good food. Um, came back and took a shower. It's, I mean, it's a budget hotel. It's like a three-star hotel. Um, but for what it's worth, I mean, uh, it, it's pretty nice. Anyway. Um, everything's been going pretty good, and um, like I said, we're gonna try to head out, head downtown, and find something to do tonight. So hopefully, uh, I can check back in with you guys uh, when we figure it out. All right, yeah, we're gonna go out and do some stuff around town. I think the uh, view from our hotel is pretty nice. We got some nice mountain views out there. Nice view of Luke in the car. We're down in not even Kalispell. This is like Columbia Falls, I think. It's another like nearby city. Uh, 
and we're just like we're gonna go eat an Italian place I think and uh and we're just gonna walk around so yeah should be uh fun I hope yeah well we'll see how this food is it was a bust Luke doesn't know how to look at uh Google for restaurant info that was not Italian food uh but anyway we're walking around downtown now. Yeah, I don't really know where we're going. We don't have a specific spot picked out yet, but we'll see how they open. Heading back to the hotel now. We're gonna hit the hay, and get ready for our hiking and stuff tomorrow in the park. I think we're driving up to Logan Pass tomorrow, possibly, so that'll be fun. Um, I mean, that should get some good footage uh, for us to. Um, share with you guys so see you tomorrow hey guys we uh got a parking spot at avalanche lake today um or avalanche trail um i think it's gonna be like what five miles something like that but yeah, the parking was really hard to get. Like, we had to wait for somebody to um, get out of their spot, and we had to take it immediately. Use your mirror. How long does it take to back out of a... Jesus, give me strength. This trail is... I think it's pretty scenic from what we've heard, so hopefully we get some good shots and everything. Um, it's a pretty beautiful day. It's kind of chilly right now, but I'm guessing it's going to get hotter later on, like it did yesterday. So, all right. Well, guys, Luke guys had enough. I'm just kidding. We're doing good, actually. Um, we hiked about two and a half miles, I'm guessing, so far. It's all been pretty much uphill, so it is kind of tiring. But um, the way back should be pretty nice because it'll all be mostly downhill. We saw some pictures of the scenery that we're going to get to see at the lake at the end of the trail. It looks pretty, pretty beautiful. We got some good shots of the mountain uh, on the way here too. So it's been worth it so far. Um, yeah, so we're just taking a break. I thought it went further, but I mean, it looks like you can go up there, but it's not really part of the trail. It's just like somebody went up there at some point, and uh, it's a long way to the waterfall. So we're uh, we're bailing. I am running away from my responsibilities. Arm feels good. So, see you guys on the other side. What kind of snake do you think that is? This snake is actually a hat titanium, hat pied. Hey, come on, girl. Uh, hat pied, and we bred her to a citron, which is basically hat titanium pied tiger. The most venomous snake known to man. Uh, we are heading down the going to the sun road to head up to the Logan Hill Visitor Center. Or Logan Pass. Pass. You can Logan see Hill. there. Got a pretty, pretty beautiful view there. 
a guy without a shirt. <laughs> Seen a lot of that today. I have to say, like 80% of the guys here are just ripped. Like they're shredded. What? That trail was really good. Yeah, it was really, it was a long way there. It felt really short coming back, but um, it was definitely worth it. You can see up there, there's some, uh, got a little bit of snow there. And um, yeah, so we will check in with you again once we get to the Logan Pass. made it to Logan Pass. We finally got a spot, parking spot. It took us like 20 minutes driving around. Um, yeah, we are gonna go see what's up here. doing this hidden lake trail next um, it's a very popular trail as you can see <laughs> I don't know I can't zoom in on this camera I don't think but you can probably see there's like a million people up there on the mountainside that are doing this trail but I mean you can see why the scenery is uh, top-notch that's Hidden Lake, or at least part of it down there. We are high, high up right now. We're like, I don't know what the exact elevation is, but pretty sure. Luke, do you know what elevation we're at? He thinks it's a couple thousand, but I am, no, it's probably at least like eight, nine, nine K, I would say. I'll double check and figure it out but yeah I forget what mountain that is but yeah. <laughs> um, what? So the trail to Oberlin is actually to the top of Ober Oberlin. Apparently, branches off from this trail. So we're trying to figure out where that is, so that when we come back, we can do it. It says online that it's uh, roped off, but they like it, you're allowed to go up it. So we're gonna try to do it. Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> um, yeah, the trail goes farther, like another mile and a half. It says it's really steep, but it's closed right now because of uh, bear activity. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Back to the car. It was a good hike. Yeah. It's a pretty uh, unbeatable view, to be honest. That whole trail was, like, there was never a spot that was, like, not scenic. This dude's just chilling on his on his bumper. He's just sleeping. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're pretty tired. We hiked about a total of maybe 11 miles today. So we're a bit beat. But, uh... Yeah, we're gonna head on out of the park and um, we'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna go get some food and stuff, so.
So we had a pretty good day today. Um, a lot of hiking, obviously. I think we hiked a total of like 11 something miles. <laughs> Me and Luke are pretty, uh, pretty worn out from today. Tomorrow we're just gonna take it easy, I think, and try to do a couple, maybe like one shorter hike, like a five mile one or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. And um, just see what else we can do around the area. Um, we wanna climb Mount Oberlin at some point, but definitely not tomorrow, because we're gonna be wrecked. Are you sure about that? Alrighty, well, see you guys later. We're looking for a spot. We're playing the game. <laughs> We're uh, keeping our eyes out, stalking people back to their cars, seeing if they're leaving. There was one spot that opened, and the guy in front of us, he just like floored it and whipped up, whipped right over to it. It's pretty hilarious. Yeah, let's follow these people and see if uh, if they get on the that red thing, the red car. I'm gonna be mad. Oh no! Oh, they oh they they baited us. They're going to the other lane. You got no, no, dude. Come on. Wait, there's a spot. Spot. Can I park? Yeah, you should be able to. I guess. What? How did we get that? What the heck? That was easy. A few minutes later. But they still obviously want this person. They have a canine coming to the scene to try to uh, sniff them out, and then they may have to bring SWAT in if they're not able to get the uh, suspect out. Well, we are heading up that mountain right there uh, on the right. Luke, we forgot our skis. <laughs> that would have been, that would have been fun. It looks like a fun sledding hill as long as you don't cause an avalanche. Zach, blah, blah. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Ring, ding, 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 ding. So yeah, update. We are about, I don't know, maybe halfway. I'd say about halfway. It's tough. <laughs> Not gonna lie, we're, we're doing it. Like, we just need to take a lot of breaks. No bears as of yet. The breeze is really nice. The weather's perfect. Partly, very few clouds. We've been tracking a small cold front that's been moving in from the northwest here. Yeah, so we're gonna push on. We made it to the top, 9,000, I think it's 9,000 feet, I don't know. I'll put, I'll put the, uh, or Luke will put the actual elevation on the screen. But, um, yeah, there's not really much, uh, much to say. Other than, uh, it was worth it. <laughs> there's also, like, another little peak over there. I might go over there, but, I mean, this is pretty much the view. So that is Logan, or that down there, I don't know if you can see it. It's a parking lot, that's where we parked. <laughs> that's Logan Pass Visitor Center. Um, that's the garden wall over here. That's where we drove in. You can kind of see the going to the Sun Road down there. Uh, and there's actually the High Line Trail that goes like a little bit above the going to the Sun Road and that like snakes around that big wall. That's Canada, way up there. Like behind that ridge of mountains, that's Canada. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh,
Gonna go up a little bit farther just so I can get a better view. So you can actually see the going to the sun road um, right where my hopefully I'm pointing to it. Snakes around down there, comes back around and snakes through the valley and um, it actually I think it's down there too. Yeah, that was worth that that we're probably not gonna do any other hikes today, I would say so. Um, but as far as hikes go, that was uh, that was probably the best one I've ever done by far. Um, we're going to try to take the easier route down, though, for sure, because I do not want to go that way <laughs> back down. We just checked out of the hotel, and uh, we're getting ready to drive. Well, actually, we're going to go to Walmart, I think. Get some stuff for the campsite, some food and a cooler and stuff so we can, you know, cook stuff over there. There's not really a grocery store where we're going to be at, so we got to get prepared for that. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be about a th two and a half hour drive all the way across the park, it seems like. Um, but I don't think it should be too bad. Stop yelling at me! No, it's not Stop yelling! Hey, guys. Um, so here I am at the campsite. Um... Yeah, so we went ahead and set up. It took us about, yeah, it's about two and a half hours to drive over here all together, but we did stop and do a waterfall hike and we got pictures of that. Woo! Yeah, we're, Luke went to get firewood. Uh, I set up the uh, our sleeping area and um, yeah so we're, we should be good we're gonna try to build a fire tonight and then um, yeah cook some hot dogs <laughs> that's what I want to do for dinner it's actually pretty nice we're right next to the shower you can kind of see that's actually the pool um, right over there with the showers and whatnot um, yeah, it's a pretty nice KOA resort, so hopefully uh, our next few nights here are are good. We out here barbecuing, charboiling, burritos, apparently. As you can probably see, hold on. So me and Luke tried to make, well, Luke tried to make burgers, veggie burgers. What It fell, his fell it like right in the middle. <laughs> And then you can maybe see a hot dog right there in the very back. That's mine. I dropped like three hot dogs in there. They rolled off. It's like getting dark now. Um, yeah, we're just kind of chilling. Eating some dinner. We'll go hiking again tomorrow. Not sure what hikes we're going to try to do yet. I'm thinking... Uh, go up to well we want to do grinnell glacier that's like one of the ones we always we wanted to do since we you know came here we knew we wanted to do that one that you um you had you 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 could you do the weather's really nice it's been nice this entire time me and luke were just talking about that um so yeah we couldn't really have gotten any luckier with that no we've been really blessed yeah very very blessed so far all of our reservations have gone through pretty much without a hitch and and everything so yeah, so I guess I'll go ahead and talk to you guys tomorrow probably and uh, we can pick up again on whatever heck we're doing. Hey guys, um, so today is Friday uh, and we yeah slept in the tent last night. It was alright, got kind of cold, but uh, yeah we made it through. Snuggle up like little bunnies. Yeah, this was a mistake. So we're gonna go hike Rinnell Glacier now. It's gonna be like nine point something miles um, round trip, I think. I'll have to double check that. But um, yeah, it's been like I said last time was good, and I think today's gonna be good too. We might try to head up to the Canadian border later, um, just to get some like pics up there. Where were you photographing squirrels? You're fired. Chief, the planetarium party. Oh, right. You're on fire. I need you. Come here. 
All right, well, um, I'll probably see you guys again at Grinnell, so see ya. Yeah, so this is, uh, like a lot of people say, this is like the best place to see the views here. Let's see why. It's pretty nice. Sorry if it's really windy, it's, uh, yeah, it might be hard to hear what I'm saying. So we just learned Wind's Requiem. We're gonna hike the Grinnell Glacier um, Trail. It's gonna be 5.3 miles. According to that sign back there, it said 5.3 miles, just one way. So it's gonna be like 10, 11 miles. So, um, so we went on the Grinnell Glacier Trail, but the like the the path to the actual glacier is closed because of bear activity. <laughs> I think the glacier's like up there further of where the waterfall is, but I'm not entirely positive. But anyway, yeah, I can't go up there, too many bears. I was at uh, Grinnell Lake instead. It's It was like on the same path, but not as far as, you know, the glacier. So, here we are. It's pretty beautiful. Yeah. I'm probably gonna get our feet wet at least a little bit. So, uh, I think this is probably gonna be our last like major hike this trip um but i'd say we had fun all right well signing off for now hey guys we're at uh lake mcdonald again this time we are gonna be swimming in the lake and it's gonna be probably like freezing cold but it's the way it is sometimes you just gotta dive on it Welcome to Russia, White Washington. <laughs> Ready, guys. We uh, we crossed the border into uh, Canada. It's pretty cool. Got the border uh, stuff there. And um, there's like nobody for miles. Like we saw one car pass by. There's another one down there. But yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty cool. So yeah, we're all on the border. We're not in Canada. I don't think we're supposed to be here because like they don't want you to cross. But you know whatever. We're rebels. Five minutes later. How many candles do you have in your house? Yes, where are you no. from, huh? Also, no, from? no, sir, sir, I, I'm actually from, uh, I'm actually from uh, uh, New, York, New York, New York, I'm from New York. Oh. Checks out. Oh, yeah. okay. Hey, cool cats. We are currently um, on our way out of Glacier National Park. Uh, as you can see over there, you can see the beautiful views we got. And uh, there's Jake. And uh, yeah, so this is the last leg of our trip. We gotta leave the park and then head back on over to Spokane. And uh, yeah, so see you guys later. Maybe we can do some ASMR. Nani? Well, we are um, at Apgar, like the gift shop, because Luke's getting some more souvenirs. Um, I already got mine from like other places, though. But uh, yeah, there's some cool stuff in here, I guess. There's like a lot of shirts, got some food, and yeah, like just souvenir stuff. We're on our way back to um, Kalispell right now. And I think, um, I've been driving so far, I think Luke's gonna switch off of me, so. Um, I'm gonna go eat some chi I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-A when we get there, probably, so. And then we're gonna leave right from there and head on back to go Cali's, or I mean, not Cali's, uh, Spokane. <laughs> and so that's gonna be like four and a half hours, so. Alrighty, see you guys later. I was gonna take it, wait, you have no pants on. Hey guys, um, hey. We made it to the hotel in Spokane. Uh, it's almost like 
it's getting late, so we're gonna head to bed. Um, we gotta get up really early tomorrow, like 2.45 a.m. to uh, get to the Enterprise um, and turn in our rental car and um, get like an Uber over to the airport at like 3.30 a.m. Our flight, flight leaves at six. So yeah, we gotta be there pretty early. So this is gonna be our last night on the trip, but it was very, very fun. I'm looking forward to seeing like the completed vlog at the end of all this. Go ahead and drop some likes, sub, uh, comment, uh, post us on your MySpace accounts, your, blo your blogs, uh, maybe post it on your bulletin board in your local area. Okay, I think you get the point.